have you ever wanted to build your own ai chatbot that run locally on your machine no api key no cloud fee and full control over the model well you are in the right place in this quick tutorial i'll show you how to create a powerful chatbot using python streamlit and olama and yes you will even use meta's open source llama 3 model by the end of this video you'll have a full functional chatbot running on your desktop ready to chat and totally private let's dive in and get your ai assistant set up and running in a few minutes all right so in order to assist you i created this repository called llm chatbot in python so basically uh, we are going to follow only three steps first we install olama and then we download the required model which is llama 3.2 version from meta and uh, later on we create our virtual environment and install the dependencies and uh, finally we'll uh, write the chatbot.py file don't worry about this file so it's already here in the repo you can access it um, freely uh, but i'm going to explain it step by step first thing first so let's install the olama so in order to install you simply need to download this file and for me i already downloaded that's why uh, it's locally running here and um, you can check whether it's installed or not by simply typing command prompt and then olama version and it will print out the version of your olama right now i'm in 0.5.7 version uh, this olama library help us to run the freely available models uh, in your local environment and uh, to get know about like other models so simply you can go to the olama.com slash search and then here you will find the different model uh, different models are for the different purpose for example the recently launched deepseek r1 model is also here but uh, make sure you download the um, correct model based on this billion parameters so that your uh, current local environment can uh, hold that that much parameter for my laptop uh, i think up to 7 billion billion or 8 billion parameter i can run uh, but for this particular tutorial i'm going to download the llama 3.3 uh, not not that one because it's 70 billion sorry uh, it's llama 3.2 and then it's 3 billion right and then you can make sure uh, to like install the llama 3 billion one by clicking that link and then simply copy this link and once you copy that simply you just need to paste it over here so it will make sure to like pull the all the like required information and then based on that it will simply install for me i think uh, it's my first time installing this model in this laptop that's why it's still downloading all right so the now the installation is successful you can simply type your message uh, to test whether your model is working or not for example if i say hello then it's saying hello how can i assist you today and uh oh, then i can say or maybe i can ask oh, what is ai right and then it will write the prompt ai stand for artificial intelligence and blah blah machine learning natural language computer vision and so on right so yeah we we'll, uh, we we got our model running on our local uh, environment now i think i can exit this model slash b by and then now i end up like running this model but of course my olama is running in background so it will be available from my python environment and in the python code so as i said before so my second second step is to simply create the virtual environment and 
install the dependency right so for that first of all i'll create the virtual environment name a chatbot env uh sorry it should be here maybe uh okay terminal in terminal i can type python v chatbot env right and then you'll see the chatbot environment over here and uh, i think i forgot to list out the step here to uh, like activate the virtual environment don't worry about it i'll write it uh, once if you watch this tutorial so yeah so basically uh, in order to activate it i can go to the chatbot env and then uh, inside scripts and then i can activate dot bat activate dot bat so after that you will see the uh, chatbot env over here that means it's uh, installed sucks i mean activated successfully now in the requirement dot txt we need stimulate uh, based on which we are going to create the simple ui and then we need lang chain uh, in order to like store our messages and manipulate uh, the message right and then we have langchain olama just to connect a langchain with olama and then olama version with version greater than 0.1.6 and then these are the optional dependencies so uh, this should like install uh, by default whenever we try to install these libraries so uh, yeah here i'm trying to like install it pip install minus r requirement dot text and then it will install all the like required packages in this environment. All right, so now the package installed successfully, we can clear the terminal. And now I think I can start writing uh, the chatbot. So for that, maybe I'll create the uh, python file called chatbot.py and then here i'll start simple so stream lit is st so i import it and then i simply uh, set the page config and then uh, page title to chatbot and then uh, i'll set set title a chatbot and if i save it uh, there is nothing going to happen and now in order to run this file so you need to run it using streamlit app so simply in order to run it you need like python dash yam which makes sure that your command is running from python and then streamlit uh, run chatbot.py Oh, sorry i realized that i made a spelling mistake uh, here as well st streamlit.py and then maybe i can fill the email or, or nothing else and then i should allow it and then it will automatically run sorry i forgot to save it and now i think i can refresh the page sit page config okay let me fix that it should be set page config sorry about loss of like spell error and now if i run it so you'll see the title is chatbot and then you'll see chatbot here right all right so now it's working so now the other thing is we are going to add the ui interface for um, like uh, user can ask the prompt question right and then it should be prompt equal to st dot chat input ask me anything about about let's say geospatial right and then if i save it and then if i rerun it so i'll see the prompt over here right now i can type something right something and then i can enter so it will be like automatically disappear but somehow we need to save that message and then show it in the interface
So in order to do that, so if we see the prompt, then we we need to like if prompt if the user in input the prompt then we need to show that right chat messages and then user and then ht prompt right and then i'm going to save this session as well session state message dot append and then uh role user content prompt or maybe i can disable this so if the prompt is uh, available then i'll simply show it in the markdown format over here so maybe i need to rerun it and then what is the weather today and it's running like this right but now it's uh you you can see that we ask some we type some question and it's automatically replacing that question right instead we need to like store that uh, but first uh, i would like to like import other libraries and then start saving like our uh, start creating the chatbot so in order to do that so we need two libraries langchain olama uh, we are going to import chat chat olama and then langchain core dot message uh, we are going to get the message is human message system message and ai message these are the three different messages and human message is the user one and um, ai message will be the uh, actual response from ai and system message will be uh, the information uh, before like giving the human input right so now I think we, we need to initialize the model. So in order to initialize it, so I'm going to like make it small. And then uh, if message not in st.session state, if there is no message, then I can type um, message equal to MPT. And then I append the message is the system message. Uh, so act like a GIS profession with 20 year of experience this prompt can be like anything depending on your need so basically i'm going to uh, create the chatbot which uh, help me to do the gis workflow that's why i write this as a system message right and once the uh, human asks the question or the user asks the question instead of like appending the message we are going to append it as a human message and then that prompt right prompt will be whatever the user asks and now uh, in order to like display the chat uh, in the history tab so basically uh, we also need to like add this code so basically if there is message in the st session state dot message then if this instant instance of like this message is human message that means it's our prompt then we write it as a user right and then we write that message and else if uh, it, it will be the ai message and then we will write it as an assistant and then we write that down in the stimulate app right that's what we are doing here and maybe i can write did the user type something then if sorry if the user type something then we we store that message uh, simply um, append that message to the our message session state right now here is the core thing so basically uh, whenever the user input the message or the prompt then we need to run our like ai model right in order to run that so basically we are going to like run the langchain i mean the model chatbot uh, olama model which is like llama 3.2 3 billion parameter one make sure this name matches exactly with the whatever model you uh, installed here right this name so yeah so basically we are like chatting with our model and then uh, make sure to like adjust the temperature uh, 
and then uh, here in the result tab we'll like invoke that session message and then uh, from this llm it will give us the content right i mean the it will generate the text right in order to get that text so we need this invoke method and then the content right and then this result uh we we need to like write this result uh is a chat message right chat message assistant and then st mark down the result and um once we write that message then we also need to save that or append that message to the um actual message like this human message right so we need this and then if you save it and then make sure your stimulate is running here somehow it has a problem maybe i can rerun it okay so if you run it here then if you refresh the page now you have your chatbot right and then maybe you can ask since i'm ask i'm going to ask the geospatial tax for example what is gis and how can i use python in gis environment and uh it's running now right uh it's trying to create the response uh so yeah maybe i can i can see that in terminal but yeah it might take some time all right so now it generate the response so gis data capture mapping analysis and visualization what why use python python is excellent library uh and popular python libraries fiona geopandas and zidal and Sepli. wow it did a great job for the vector data set but looks like it did not uh, list out the rastrio but that's okay so it's a model right and looks like overall the response is quite good maybe i can ask the more deeper question for example how to read uh save file using geo pandas and how to find out points inside polygon using two save files save files of point and polygon features and if i run it so it will definitely like going to remember all the chat histories that's why we use langchain you can cross check the previous prompt uh, as well but yeah it, it might take some time to like generate the response depending on your laptop like um, ram and then laptop specification all right so now it also like generate the uh response so reading shape file with geopandas read file which looks good and then yeah yeah it looks good even it um, show us like how to plot it even though we did not ask for that and then uh, using yes join method okay so basically it's reading to data frame inside s yes join and then how inner and within operation yeah the response looks quite good and then uh, you can see that our like response is colorful that means um, it uses the markdown uh, response and uh, we are simply like printing that markdown directly into chat interface that's why it looks neat and clean even though i can i have a copy button over here right so yeah um in this way like you can create basically chatbot uh, in your local environment with like any model whatever model you want um and i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching